welcome back guys. I just finished up the last video and I figured I'd film this one because it's pretty dang exciting. Big stuff is coming. But I wanna give you guys a little update on the boat because you guys might have not tuned in the last video and such. So let's go take a look at this thing and show you guys what we got going on. So back to front here, nothing's going on back here yet. So we got the hydro turf in. We got the interior LEDs done. We got the battery box rigged up. We have the light bar and, oh, the camera will not pick that up. We got our nav lights. So we got all everything wired up, everything's ready to go. And we're ready to kind of push forward with this project into the next chapter. And I cannot wait to show you guys this, so stay tuned. This is like the first legit summer project I've had. It's kind of fun. You guys ready for the grand reveal? <laughs> I bought a trailer. Well, I broke down and bought a trailer for the Quacker Stacker, which is what we're calling the Momarch now, it's the Quacker Stacker. And I'm actually pretty excited about this because it's bringing the build from here to here. I've got a lot of stuff planned now. Backtracking a little bit, I was originally planning to load the Momarsh into the bed of the truck. And then I kind of came to the realization that yes, I'm capable of doing that, but I'm tired of lifting waterlogged boats into the bed of my truck on steep boat ramps. So, I found a trailer. Fortunately enough, I knew somebody who had this and they were willing to sell it and it just worked out perfectly. I will get into the details of this, but stay tuned this summer. Like I said, multiple times throughout this series, things are going to keep getting better and better and better because the project, it just keeps growing and growing and growing. I originally thought it was going to just be like adding some lights on the boat and hydro turf and putting the motor on it and grassing it in and stuff like that, but it's kind of going to the next level. I said ultimate duck boat build and I'm kind of taking it and running with it. It is gonna be the ultimate duck boat build because I've got stuff planned for this trailer to make it the hunting machine. So let me show you guys what we got. I do not know the brand of this trailer. I don't know the overall length because I haven't really measured it. I think it's probably 12 foot in length-ish. It's really squirrely to back up because it's so short. So hopefully I can get that figured out before I'm going down boat ramps at night. But here's the trailer. It has seen some better days, but it's got some good bones. So I do need to replace the wiring and the lights just to get it done with and over with and never have to worry about it, get a, worry about it again. And we've got some rust to clean up. I think we're gonna give this whole thing a paint job we need to adjust the bunks. Um, Axle probably needs to get a little bit of paint. It's got some rust showing. Wheels need some love. Bearings more than likely need some love because this trailer's been sitting. But overall, it's gonna work. So check this out. For some reason, this boat seems heavier today. Maybe it's the humidity. So I did adjust the roller on this trailer just to see how this Momarsh is gonna fit. Hello, that's gonna bust my ankles. Yeah. Trailer's light. So we're definitely gonna need to adjust the bunks. They're angled because this is a jet ski trailer. Don't know if I mentioned that. Come on boat, I'm trying to give him an idea of what we're working with. That's close. The boat fits on the trailer pretty well. I might need to adjust it a little bit. We need to adjust the bunks. Uh, might need to bring that roller forward just a hair more. But overall, side profile for you guys, maybe this side will work better. But overall, it fits on the trailer really well. You can see that the back end sticks out a little bit, but that's probably gonna happen. I'm not too concerned because you can see the shape of the boat goes up at the back so all the flat spots are actually going to be resting on the bunks so maybe i don't even need to move that roller forward any but we're going to just give this trailer some tlc and some love here's what it looks like from the back 
Looks pretty darn good, guys. And the side once again. Like I said, I've got some big plans for this. The tires seem pretty good. They're holding air. I'm definitely gonna need to keep checking them just to double check and make sure. But it seems like they're holding air really well because this trailer has been sitting for quite a few years. Um, so we're gonna need to do the works on it to get it all ready to go for duck season. But I know a lot of guys use jet ski trailers to haul their layout boats and it totally makes sense. It's like the perfect size because you know, it's just a 13 foot, 44, 48 inch wide boat. It doesn't take a whole lot of trailer to haul these things. And so getting a single jet ski trailer is definitely gonna work out really well for me. I'm excited about it. And once again, if you guys have any ideas on what to do to this thing, let me know down in the comments. But I got some great ideas for this sucker. So we're gonna get this thing cleaned up and then we're gonna start building on it. And I cannot wait to bring you guys along with it. So I think at this point, other than a few things, the boat is pretty close to being done unless you guys have some really good ideas. So if you guys have any more ideas on what to add to this sucker to make it the ultimate rig, put it down in the comments. Really love to hear it. I've got some parts coming and we're gonna to get to working on this here really soon. So. It's gonna be a fun little project and I cannot wait to bring you guys along on it. One of the things that I like most about this trailer is that one, one thing about the boat is the boat actually has a hook on the bottom so you can hook it onto a trailer, which is awesome. But the thing I like the most about this trailer is since my garage is full, got the big boat in there and my wife parks her car in the garage, um, I'm gonna to have to keep this in the backyard and it's super light so I can just, grab it, push it in the backyard, which is fantastic. So kind of solved all the issues on where I'm keeping this thing. I do have a really nice, hopefully nice, I don't know, it's probably Chinese crap, but uh, I bought a cover for the Momarsh to uh, put on it, protect it from the sun. So I can't actually just leave it on the trailer. And so hopefully with that cover, it's protected from the sun, it's gonna prolong the life of the boat. So that was one of my biggest concerns of this boat. It's where I was gonna keep it, what I was gonna do with it, because I got two kayaks in the garage, and I just didn't really know where I was gonna put this thing. So I think this solves it. I'm gonna have a cover for it, and it's gonna look pretty good when we're done with it. I cannot wait to show you guys. This is gonna be more of a project than the boat was. The boat was just adding things on. This is gonna be a full-on repair and replace project. So make sure to stay tuned.